Welcome to Daily Overdose. One day I made a decision that enough is enough. I'm tired of being average. I'm tired. I'm tired of being good. I'm tired. I want to go to the dealership and buy the best car. I want to move to the nicest neighborhood. I want to fly first class. I want to go to Hawaii. I want to go to Australia. I, want, I made a decision. Enough is enough. It's showtime. Will the real Eric Thomas please stand up? Some of you in the room right now, you are where you are. You're giving 60% when you have 120 in you. Why? Because you've never made a decision. Shh, there are those of you in this room. You already there. Your problem is there's some stuff you don't want to give up to go. You're talented. You just don't want to give up sleep. Listen to me. Pound for pound. Any agent in the room. Pound for pound. Motivational speaker. Pound for pound. Entrepreneur. Pound for pound. Athlete. Pound for pound. Weightlifter. Pound for pound. Whatever you do, I guarantee you when you do it, nobody can do it like you do it. The problem is you don't hardly do it. You love sleep too much. You love that alcohol too much. You love that substance too much. You love that vice too much. There's something that you love more than yourself, than your dream, than your goals. Watch what happens when you have a goal that only has two reasons. See how long that lasts. Watch a goal that has 50 reasons and see how. There's some, somebody called me the other day on an interview, stupid question. E.T., what do you feel like on the days that you don't feel like so ask, ask the question again, please. Well, what do you do on the days that you don't feel like? So I'm going to be honest with you. I'm way past that. Every day I feel like. Every day I feel like eating. Every day I feel like giving my wife the best life. Every day I feel like driving in a nice car. Every day I feel like flying first class. Every, every single day of my life, I feel like giving a hundred to Every single day, somebody said yesterday, E.T., you gave 120, what you gonna do tomorrow? I said, I don't know, get 140. I don't know, but I don't have days where I don't feel like it. Why? Because I'm counting on me. My wife's counting on me. I don't have days to waste. No more 50 percent, no more, no more 70 percent, no more. I want us an 85 to climb. I want you at 85 and climbing. If you're at 80, I want you at 90, and I mean moving rapidly. It's not rocket science. And the universe is not responding to you correctly because your body language sucks. Your spirit sucks. It's defeated. I need you to give me that 120. I need you to give me that everything you do. I need you to start giving me that 120 in everything you do. Bring it all, all together. Bring all the energy, all the passion. Bring it all together and dominate. I got an opportunity to make a dream become a reality. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. You have to give it everything you got. No more TV, no more parties, no more plans. If you don't have a 4.0, what you need to be doing is study. Get off the phone. Sorry, I'm not available until the end of this year. No, I'm for real. You reached the right number, but you called me at the wrong time. Call me back January 1st. I'm about to get busy now. Stop being this high school dropout. Stop giving up. Stop sleeping on the street. Stop walking up and down Finkel Avenue like you ain't got nothing and get your GED. Stop being afraid to take a test. I got to commit my very being to this thing. I got to I got to breathe it. I got to eat it. I got to sleep it. And until you get there, you will never be successful in life. But once you get there, I guarantee you the world is yours. So work hard and you can have whatever it is you want. When I went to college, guys were way smarter than me. 4.0s, 3.0s, they went to the Ivy League high schools, came to Oakwood from these great high schools. Most of them are not doing what I'm doing. Why? Because it's not about where you come from. It's about hearts. You come to a place where, you know, being smart ain't enough. You got to have hearts. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. There are a lot of people that are sitting around waiting for something to happen. Now, what you going to do about it? We're getting out of college and we have the faintest idea what we want to do. So I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were no object? 
What, how would you really enjoy spending your life? Well, it's so amazing as a result of our kind of educational system, crowds of students say, well, we'd like to be painters, we'd like to be poets, we'd like to be writers, but as everybody knows, you can't earn any money that way. Or another person says, well, I'd like to live an out-of-doors life and ride horses. I say, do you want to teach in a riding school? Let's go through with it. What do you want to do? When we finally got down to something which the individual says he really wants to do, I will say to him, you do that and uh, forget the money. Uh, because if you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. And after all, if you do really like what you're doing, it doesn't matter what it is, you can eventually turn it, uh, you could eventually become a master of it. It's the only way to become a master of something, to be really with it. And then you'll be able to get a good fee for whatever it is. So uh, don't, don't worry too much, uh, that's, uh, everybody's, uh, somebody's interested in everything. And anything you can be interested in, you'll find others who are. But it's absolutely stupid to spend your time doing things you don't like in order to go on spending things you don't like and doing things you don't like. Wake up from your dream and make your dream a reality. Wake up. Wake up and understand the significance of the purpose that you have within yourself. Understand that if it's something that you are truly ultimately seeking in your life, and you got to go after it. There are a lot of people that are sitting around waiting for something to happen. Now what you going to do about it? How are you going to go about doing the things that are necessary to get you where you need to be in your life? Everybody has a dream. But how much are you applying to that dream? How far are you pushing that dream? When are you going to realize that the dream is not going to work by itself? You got to have the ability to rise up and push yourself and believe in yourself and make that dream a reality. What's your why? I, if, hey, if I don't give y'all nothing else, you better start that. What's your why? You know why I do what I do and I do it so passionately? Because my grandfather was a high school dropout. My father was a high school dropout. I was a high school dropout and we about to break the cycle. I do what I do so my son won't have to go through what I went through. When I was at the football game, my old dude wasn't with me. I saw other kids when they fought. I said, that'll never happen to me. I do what I do because my daughter says she's going to Harvard. It ain't even about y'all. I'm about to come here and blaze y'all. Why? Because I'm trying to get you all the NFL. I ain't about to miss this opportunity. This is the first NFL team I've ever done in my life, and I'm about to lick it. I'm about to give everything I got, and I will know if I don't get another gig, it won't have nothing to do with the fact that I didn't put everything on the field. What's your why? Why do you wake up in the morning? Why do you put on that jersey? Why do you go out and practice? Why? I got to commit my very being to this thing. I got to I gotta breathe it. I got to eat it. I got to sleep it. And until you get there, you will never be successful in life. But once you get there, I guarantee you, the world is yours. So work hard and you can have whatever it is you want. This is the real secret of life. To be completely engaged with what you are doing in the here and now. And instead of calling it work, realize it's play. Oftentimes people go, okay, here's really what I want to do, and this is what I'm trying to accomplish. And then they see all these other things that other people are doing, and then they, they kind of see that as like a grab bag, and they're like, I want a little of this, and a little of this, and a little of this, and I want it all at the same time. And that's not really possible, you know? You can't play five sports at the same time. You gotta pick one, you gotta special. Maybe you can do two, but you probably can't do five, right? Number one is that you need to really get amped up about why that goal matters to you. Because once you know why the goal matters, that's going to be that thing that gives you meaning and purpose, that turns into a passion, that allows you to show up and keep doing it when you're bored. What would you like to do? If you don't like what you're doing, and you don't like where you are, and you don't like your relationships, and you don't like X, Y, or Z, what do you want? What do you like? 
And then you got to be able to add passion to it to activate that thing and make that dream a reality. And to find that meaning and to develop it, to create meaning in our lives, we have to set an intention and we have to pursue that intention. Start small, know what you want, get out of bed, get after it, set rules for yourself, follow those rules. You have to understand that you're not your own servant, so to speak. You're someone that you have to negotiate with and you're someone that you want to present the opportunity of having a good life to. And that's hard for people because they don't like themselves very much. Once you discover your purpose, it's your job to live with passion. That's when you're passionate. That's when you're ready to go to that next level. You determine your legacy. It's up to you. Your legacy is in your hands as long as you can breathe, as long as you can hear, as long as you can see. If you're passionate and driven and focused in what you do, if you're really good at it, people will take notice. That's basically it. So those dreams and goals that some of you have that may seem larger than life, good. That's what I want you to go after. And don't let the fear of the failure, don't let the fear of perfection hold you back. You won't be perfect. You will make mistakes. But I promise you this, you're never going to know if you can sink or if you can swim unless you jump in the water. So continue to fight for it. Continue to believe in yourself. Hold on to the possibilities. Get away from the negativity. Push yourself. Believe in yourself. And go as far as you can. I will remember that my choices create my reality. My responses create my outcome. I will speak with compassion. I will stay true to my heart. See, whatever you decide to do, look at it and find out what is it that I have that I could bring to the table that can begin to enable me to ensure that I could be successful in this. Where is the opening for you? There's room for you out here, out here in the arena called life. There's room for you to come out and live your dream. Don't allow but to keep you in the corner or keep you up in the bleachers, looking at life, being a spectator, not being a participant, making a difference in life. I believe that all of us came here with something. All of us showed up to give something and that nobody, but nobody's going to give that service that you have to give. No one's going to produce your product. No one's going to write your book. No one's going to open your academy. No one's going to begin to create your daycare with a special curriculum to help to cultivate the high self-esteem in our children. That's your idea. And if you don't bring your idea out here, when you die, all of us will suffer because we've been deprived of your genius because you allowed but to keep you in the bleachers and not pursuing your greatness. You take it to your grave with you. And that's what most people do. Now, here's the simple formula for setting goals. It goes like this. A, work on your goals. That's step one, work on them. And I put the word work there deliberately. Setting goals is plain hard work. I don't want to kid you. We haven't come here tonight to kid each other. It's work, I know it's work. That's why a lot of people just let it slide. It's work. Many people work hard on their job, but they don't work hard on their future. They just let that slide. And the work involved is making plans. I know most people don't. I understand that. But don't let that be you. Guy says, well, yeah, you work where I work, but the time you struggle home, it's late. You've got to eat a bite of supper, watch a little TV, get to bed. You can't sit up half the night. Plan, plan, plan. And the guys be good worker, hard worker, sincere. But you've got to be better than sincere, working hard. You've got to be better than a good worker. You've got to be a good planner. Somebody once wisely said, the people who fail to plan are planning to fail. Well said. So work on your goals. Here's step two. Write your goals down. That's so important. I teach my staff around the world, put your goals in your journal. Because one of the major people you want to study is yourself. So here's the list of goals I put together three weeks ago. 
Here's the list of goals I put together two years ago. Here's some of the changes I made, rearrangement of my priorities. I scratched these off, I put these on, I've gotten these. Study your accomplishments, study what your desires are. Put them on paper, write them down. Here's another reason for writing your goals down. It shows you're serious about doing better. And to do better, you gotta get serious. You don't have to be grim, but you must be serious. Everybody hopes things will get better. Everybody hopes. Poor people hope. That ought to tell you something. It means the future does not get better by hope. It gets better by plan. In studying warfare and battles over the centuries, I have always been fascinated by the situations where a smaller force defeated a numerically superior force. In every case, what I discovered was that the numerically smaller force was far better organized, more methodical and more orderly in its plan of attack and execution than was the larger, more disorganized force. By the same token, an ordinary person with a system or recipe for problem solving can run circles around highly intelligent or well-educated people who throw themselves at their problems without a method or process for solving them. Always be sure to think on paper. Write things down. There is something that happens between the brain and the hand when you write. You get a greater sense of clarity and understanding with regard to the issues involved. You think better. Your perception is sharper. You actually become smarter and more creative by the very act of writing everything down as you go along and before you make a decision. One of the most important parts of your personal philosophy should revolve around the development of options. The rule is you are only as free as your well-developed alternatives. If your goal is to be happy, successful and free, you must have choices. There must be more than one thing that you can do in every situation. You can never allow yourself to be trapped with only one course of action open to you. From the time you take your first job, make your first investment or embark on any part of life, you should immediately begin to, to develop an alternative to that if something should go wrong. Always be looking for ways to use your creativity to add value by doing things faster, better, cheaper, or easier in some way. Just as the word deserve comes from the Latin roots, de and service, which mean from service, you should always be looking for ways to deserve greater rewards from serving your customers better in some way. In the final analysis, as a member of society, as a player, in our economic system, your riches and rewards will come from your ability to serve other people better than your competitors. Use your intelligence and your creativity every single day to find ways to make yourself more valuable to your company, your industry and your world. This is the true hallmark of personal genius.